I found really fascinating was that if I just goes, give me more telomerase, you know, whatever, whatever way you can, give me more telomerase. And then you think about it. Imagine if you've got a couple of cancer mutated, you know, some cells mutated in your body that are precancerous or, you know, God forbid, cancerous. Um, and I up the telomerase level. They've already made the changes. They've already got the breaks um, damaged. They've already made the initial changes. And then we up the fuel. That's the scary bit with this sort of simple idea that was around in the 80s, which is, oh, just let's find a way to increase telomerase and we'll all live longer and so on and so forth. The issue is not so much that telomerase is going to, well, this is the current thing, as I understand it, it's going to trigger a cancer. But if it's already there, it, it could accelerate it. And that's the terrible catch-22, I guess, of this idea of just simply increasing telomerase. Is that fair? I, th I think that's fair. Um, um, I also agree with the comment in the film, though, that there's, there may be a tightrope that can be walked, and that if we do learn to turn telomerase on in a highly regulated and controlled way, um, it may be possible to ameliorate some of the um, features of ageing. Um, I don't, don't think we're talking about immortality here, um, but it may be possible to ameliorate some of the ageing diseases um, without predisposing to cancer. 